So this question is a diagram question. It's kind of a reverse of our typical diagram questions, where instead of the diagram being in the question, right, all of our answer choices are graphs, right? All of our answer choices have a visual representation. So if we start off with the function that's been provided to us, this f of x equals x plus 3 times x minus k, and then I look at what's given to us in the question, which just tells us that the function f is defined above. If k is a positive integer, which of the following could represent the graph of y equals f of x in the xy plane? In essence, we're just in, the question is asking us, how do you graph this, right? How do you graph this if you have an unknown k value? So a couple of ways. The first and easiest way requires that you remember that a function that's set up as a product of two binomials is a result of a quadratic equation or quadratic function, which means we expect to have a parabola, right? But even if you didn't remember that, all of the answer choices are parabolas anyway, so you'd be okay. So the second thing about this parabola is it's positive, right? There's not a negative sign out in front here, which means the parabola will be facing upward, right? So that's helpful. And the third thing here is while we do not know the k value, we do see this positive 3 here, which actually does tell us that the x-intercept, right, or at least one of the x-intercepts is equal to negative 3. So this information within itself will help us find the answer. First of all, we know it's a parabola, so that's already, again, all the answer choices are parabolas. Second of all, we know that it must face upward, which means that answer choice A and B are gone. Thirdly, we know that we want an x-intercept of negative 3, and we only see that in answer choice D, which makes answer choice D the correct answer. Another way to solve for this, however, is to use your graphing calculator, right? So let's say you didn't remember anything that I just said. You could just throw this equation into your graphing calculator. The only issue is you would have to make up a number for K, right? So the strategy for that is called plug in your own number, right? I use this strategy, um, especially in questions like this, where it's like, I wish I knew what K was. If I knew what K was, I'd be able to just plug it in. Well, you can make it up, right? So if you said that K equals 2, you would just throw into your calculator that Y equals X plus 3 times X minus 2. You see your graph, and your graph, again, will look just like answer choice D. Now, based upon my using 2, it is exactly choice D, but you could have used a different number, and at the same time, you would still come to the conclusion that D is the best answer.